Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 360. Uh, we have the four box, the half case break of SP Signature Edition Legends. It's been just selling out really quickly. We've had some really fun breaks. It's just been, it's just been a good time overall, honestly, with this product. So uh, as per usual, 23 spots in this break, same thing as last time, except the Evolves, uh, if they have three teams, we'll do top, middle, bottom, rather than one, two, three, just because Makes a lot more sense. If there's two teams listed, we'll just random them off separately. And if they're an autograph, we will random them off separately as well, just because it's a higher valued hit. So, um, but it does help cut down on the break time a lot. So uh, if you're interested in other breaks, we do have seven spots left. I don't know if we'll still have seven left by the time this video goes live, but we have seven spots left in a CHL SP game used uh, break that has two boxes of allure, two boxes of synergy, a box each of 21, 22, uh, series one and series two retail, and then the two CHL SP game use. That break is random team for the NHL boxes and then random hit for the CHL stuff just to make it a little bit more, you know, so everyone gets something from CHL. I know we didn't get a ton of it in and just kind of want to make sure everyone gets a card from it. So, all right, without further ado, let's get into the break. Three times on the names, three times on the teams. Who you line up with is who you get. That is the wrong screen. There we go. All right. So here we go. Three times all the names. Once, twice, third time. Muhammad on top and on the bottom. And teams three times. Once, twice, third time, Rangers on top, Flames on the bottom. Flames have been sneaky, like they're sneaky good in the first half last time, but not as good in the second half. But All right, Muhammad, you have the Rangers, uh, Denise with the Flyers, James, you've got the Islanders and the Avalanche, Patty with the Habs, Corey with the Canucks, Brandon, you've got Dallas, Minnesota, Naeem with the Blues. The Blues were like arguably the best team, like in terms of card quantity, one of the best teams in the break last time. Uh, Corey with the Devils, Kevin with the Jackets and Capitals, uh, Denise with the Panthers and Lightning. Bill, you've got your Oilers. Uh, good luck. Kevin with Chicago, Graham with the Bruins, Mike with the Leafs, Maxime with the Kings and the Hurricanes and Senators, Patty with the Jets and Coyotes, Ian with the Ducks and Sharks, Brandon with the Penguins, Reyes with the Red Wings, Marshall with the Sabres and Predators, and Muhammad with the Flames. So I feel like, Bill, that's your first time getting the Oilers. CHL is not full. It's got seven spots left on it. So I feel like that's your first time with the Oilers there, Bill. It feels like it at least. I don't know. Maybe you've had them once or twice before, but. Good to, it's always nice seeing people get their PC teams. Um, just because you know the cards are going to the right, you know the cards are going to the right place. You've had Calgary a lot. <laughs> I know that much. For better or for worse. So, well, we just have to pull you a Gretzky now, right? Yeah, seven spots left in the CHL. That break's gonna be a lot of fun as well. So don't don't sleep on that break either. Um yeah. Oh yeah, like you're gonna get a card. I say gonna get, but you probably should get a card. Um we had if I remember correctly from sorting, we had both the Rangers and uh Islanders were shut out in the last break. Yeah, the CHL one, like, again, it is, it is a very, I think it's a fair price. Um, the Bedard hype for it has been insane, and the price has gone up as a result, but, like, I think it's at the fair price, so. It's a fun product. 
I will say that much. It's it's a risky product, but it's fun. So, all right. I don't think we're going to get any trades. Let's get into the video. I don't know why I turned my mouse off. Edmonton, like Pittsburgh. So Messier and uh, Messier and Gretzky. That'd be insane. All right, here we go. So we know based off of like opening things up and the general consensus is that if you're getting loose packs, it's normally the top pack in here, which is I think one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have six. So it's normally this pack and this pack are autos. Just be aware if you're opening up single packs that the product is somewhat searchable. So, and then I would say normally it is size six. So it's one of these two, I think will be kind of like the other major hit. So. But yeah, the uh, series one, or not series one, sorry, the series two checklist got posted today. So went through that quickly, uh, kind of glanced over it. Some interesting factoids. Uh, it's all Tampa Bay Lightning Day with the Cups. I am personally okay with that because they never got their true Day with the Cup cards. So hopefully they get, you know, the ones in their street clothes and stuff. So I'm looking forward to those. Uh, Halavik for the Rangers. Um, yeah. It is. The Young Guns are fine. Uh, evolve of Hall. So this will be a random, again, how we do the evolves. It's really easy to show them on here. Uh, we'll do top, middle, and bottom, and whatever it lands on is what we get for the three teamers. Uh, two teamers will random off separately. So if we random top, it'd go to the Flames. Middle would go to the Blues. Bottom to the Red Wings. Uh, he's not a short print. Make sure I'm not missing any short prints here. But yeah, the checklist looks solid. I would say, you know, Wright and Slavkowski have kind of not been as hype worthy as people have had them prior to the start of the year, but they've, they're still decent players. Well, there's a Messier for the Rangers. That's a short print. Uh, we'll put that there. Richards on the Decagons for the Bolts. But there's some good names still, like Wright, Slavkowski. Uh, sleepers are like Dylan Holloway, I guess, would technically be a sleeper, but I think people just speculate on him just based off of the fact that if he plays with McDavid or Dreisaitl and his point total spike and the fact that he's a good player, like, you know. Uh, canvas of Alex Tongay for the Avs. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to change that. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Enjoyable. Let me change that to sports. I think I hit it, but then I didn't hit save properly, so. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> All right. Gartner on the dominant digits. So this pack should be our short print. Yeah, Slavkovsk. I mean, Kuzmenko's in it. Kuzmenko's going to be really popular out here in Vancouver. Such a lovable player. Sean Belleville, that's our short print. And, oh, no, our autograph's in a different spot. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, chart raw for the Habs. So maybe we have a bonus auto. But typically they've been in that in the same spot, so... We just did a video last week on sticker autos versus on card autos, and one of the uh, one of the points was on card autos. You just get the full autograph, and it just it looks just a little bit better, a little bit more personality wise, and it really shows in this product. Uh, you would have to, I would say, you, um, reach out to the team via the contact form. I'm not fully certain. Um, I think there might be, but I don't. I can't 100% say that there is. Ronick on the gold for the Coyotes. So. Oh, nice. 
yeah the uh that one's really really tough to pull uh sammy salos this will be ottawa vancouver tampa bay on the random congrats that's a that's an insane hit and again another point that we brought up in the uh sticker video thing is that like if it weren't for sticker autos this wouldn't be in the product type of thing so yeah that's an insane card we pulled the base future watch but not the auto the auto is definitely like insane there's robotai for the short print for the kings Lidstrom on the profiles i'm just gonna start putting the profiles over here unless they're gretzky just because the gretzky ones go for a rather insane amount the Lidstrom's a tier three though so but they're so much more common that it's not as big of a deal Salming for the leafs uh bill i will try and keep that in mind but yeah uh, Berenson for the blues. All right, this should be our base short print, right? Nope, LaFontaine. This is Islanders, Sabres, and Rangers. El Pronger might be a short print. Can't remember. Can't remember, not a short print. Let me just go back through here. We're looking for over 300. Did I miss any? I think it's because I took a couple off the top no, that it messed it up a little bit, but. Yeah, for now, only four bounties left, eh, yeah. I'm, I'm honestly shocked that there's still four bounties left. Forsberg, that might be a short print. Yeah, that's a short print gold for the Avs. Uh, these are short prints. All right, we should be into the meat and potatoes after this. Neely, I know, is a short print, and Iserman on the profiles for the Red Wings. But yeah, those, um, when the product hits EPAC, it's going to be a crazy race again. Uh, Wendell Clark, so this one wasn't for the Leafs. This one might be an auto. Nope, just a LaFontaine on the dominant digits for the Sabres. I don't think I'm missing anyone. Maybe we have different slots for the autos this time around. Our truck, that's going to be a short print. Oh, that's pretty cool. Glenn Hall on the Century Legend Signatures for Chicago. That's a really, like, clean, old-school looking card. For Chicago. I honestly, one thing I really like about this card is that they didn't foil the logo here just because it fits the theme of it so much better. That's a, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool little card there. All right, let's see if we have the, uh, an extra auto. Gordy Howe, that's a short print. No, not a, not an auto, but a Wayne Gretzky canvas for the Oilers. So there you go, Bill, there's something. Again, it's all-star game and it doesn't mention a specific all-star game. So it goes to the Oilers. because it's his most games played. I'll put that there. Make sure I didn't miss any of the base short prints, but that's a different uh, different box breakdown, to be completely honest, because our autos were in spots that they normally weren't in, so. One of them was in the regular spot, but. Always nice to be a little bit surprised by where the autos are, not gonna lie. <laughs> Can I throw up the teams? Uh, there we go. Ah. It is beautiful outside here today. It's like 15, 16 degrees. All right, 
we're just gonna go regular top to bottom. Yeah, Bran Clark. Bran Clark's in one of the like. There's, I'd say there's about ten or so decent young guns. Uh, three, three, six. Don't be shocked about how well the uh buoy young guns do on day one. They will probably tank after that, but don't be shocked by them if they massively like outperform your expectations on day one. Yeah, Hurricanes get the Whalers card. It all it all follows the franchise. So Phillips for the Senators and like the most um so in this case like uh you know Winnipeg is a really weird one and the Winnipeg the Winnipeg Jets have very few actual cards in this product. They would pretty much always go to well they pretty much would always go to the Arizona Coyotes. So Hasek on the Evolve. So they're comboed up. Um, I tried to combo up all the problem teams together. Not not problem teams, but like the ones that you'd get like some confusion over, like Minnesotas and stuff like that. So but yeah. Yeah, series two, there's a lot of I would say there's a lot of like star potential players, but not a lot of like insane. Oh, there's a Lindros on the short print. Uh profiles of Broder for the Devils. Um, there's not like Slavkovsky and Wright have the potential to be like, like on the I'd say a lower chance of being one of the top players in the NHL, like top ten players for three plus consecutive years, like true superstar territory. Berard for the uh, Islanders. Compared to Series One, where I think you've got Power, Boldy, and Beniers who have more potential. But there's a lot of like just really solid NHLers again. So dominant digits of Grant Fear for the Oilers. It's doing play by play for Seattle's team. Seattle's AHL team, that is. Who are doing really well, apparently, in terms of like viewerships. This is another auto. All right, our autos are messed up. Coffee for the Penguins. Uh, Mikel Anderson for the bolts. So our autos are in different places in this case. Well, this, these boxes at least. So the bolts on the board. Yeah, it's hard to keep a coherent thought while like going through packs and naming teams. So apologies for that. Uh, flurry for that'd be the flames, I believe. On the life after hockey. That's that's gotta be flames, right? Just because there's no team list on those, yeah, that's flames. One thousand percent. All right. Uh, Georgian Pedersen for the Blues on the gold. But yeah, I think uh, I think it's going to be a solid checklist. Like you've got a lot of potential for players who to pop off. Um, don't sleep on like you know your. Um, don't sleep on a player like Dylan Holloway because if he plays with McDavid, then that's going to be insane. Salani on a short print, and Lidstrom on the profiles. Pull a lot of Lidstroms. Uh, Defoe for the Bruins. Forsberg for the Avs on the dominant digits. Who else? There's yeah. There's Wright, Sapkowski. There's uh, Urshakai. Um, there is Kuzmenko. Like I mentioned, Kuzmenko is gonna be pretty popular. So Patrick Wall on the short print and Rejo Rutsalainen for the Rangers on the canvas auto. So let's see who our other auto is. If you get a canvas auto, uh. I'd say normally the middle auto is like the 
rare auto. Hey, that's why I love this set, right? There's names that you just haven't heard in forever on it. Uh, Richard on the gold. What was the short print? Yeah, just double checking. It's every third pack. Uh, Howard Chuck. This will be a three team random Jets, Sabres, and Flyers. Who else is on there? There's. Um, yeah, Jake Sanderson's on there. I think he's a name to keep an eye on for the Young Guns for Series 2. Um, who else? I'm trying to think. Upside down. Belfour, is he a short print? I don't think. Oh, no, he is. Okay. Dinah Zubris on the Decagons for the Capitals. That is a name I have not heard in a long time. Was one of my, like, sleeper players in the 2000s when I was cheering or like watching hockey that's kind of a funny one yeah brent clark there's there's a few like potential players i don't think there's as many sleepers in series two as like normal carpenter for the capitals like players who have an extreme amount of upside that people don't know about already. Brindamore for the Hurricanes. Let's just do a double check here. I don't think I've missed any because it's every third pack. So. Yeah. All right. We'll talk more about it after after the break. So we have here uh Billy Smith, Shanahan for the Red Wings on the right on the Canvas Legends. I was expecting an autograph. I don't know why oh right, because we had the double one. So yeah, that was a weaker I'd say that was a weaker box. Um That's probably the worst box we've opened, to be completely honest, of this stuff. I, I'm just so used to that side being the auto that I was just so confused for a second. So it's my green screen. Like there's no sugar coating that box too much. It was it was not great. The canvas auto is cool and all, but like you know, you would have liked to see, you know, a clear cut all time future watch in there. It's a uh, it's Shakai, I believe. I believe it's Shakai. It's almost I. Th I think it's really if you read his name backwards, it's kind of closer to his pronunciation than it forwards. Eighty four here. I believe I'm not one hundred percent positive, but okay. This has had the auto. This has had the auto. This has not had the auto. A4. Let's go with this. Maybe we're just opening them up wrong. Sittler for the Leafs. Short print. So short print gold. Uh, he's in there. Uh, oh, Dylan Gunther. Dylan Gunther's in it as well. That's actually might be one of the sleepers, but Yager on the canvas. Nice. Uh, Pronger was not a short print. Yager's for the Penguins. I wish they got him doing the salute on the canvas. That would have been a little bit cooler. Lafleur For the Habs. Behind the boards of Scott R. Neal for the Capitals. This feels a little bit harder to pull than some of the other inserts. Oh, I thought we had a good one. Oh, Chelios is a short print. Uh, Messier for the Oilers on the profiles. Would have been nice for that to be a Gretzky. Paul 
Be a short print as well, yeah. And Whitney? We just have double short prints, that's kind of weird. I think these packs got shuffled up a lot more in these in this box. Or these couple of boxes. Yeah. Here, let me pull up the series two checklist and pull it up in one second, but Terry Crisp for the Flyers. I I honestly collecting the gold set would be pretty fun. I think that'd be a pretty fun set. Uh, Hickey, Rangers, Leafs, Rangers. Uh, who was on Chelios? For the... Uh, what Chelios? Oh, Chicago. It was Chicago. These are all not short prints. It was Chicago. Yeah, the golds look really nice. Another profile. It's not what you really want to see. Uh, Maurice Richard on the short print for the Habs. Lemieux for the Penguins. On the profiles. Danico for the Devils. Uh, autograph, uh, Busick for the Bruins, Brian Campbell for the Sabres. There you go. I do like the goat head jerseys in this autograph format. What else players? It just was really, really good for a really long time. But hopefully we get a bit of a bigger auto here. A short print, St. Louis for the Bolts. Well, I'm glad we didn't do the pack swap thing because that was not in where the auto normally is, which is, I mean, good, I guess. Luke Witch for the Lightning. Look how, I just, I don't know what they were thinking switching to those jerseys from the goat head. Yeah, we, we need a future watch, a clear cut future watch and a like future watch auto. Robotai is going to be Kings, Red Wings, Kings on the thing. It's listed three times. It's listed once per every logo change. So if they're on the same team twice, but they've changed the logos, that's why you'll see multiple of the team's logos listed. Whereas if their logo hasn't changed, then you'll only see like in Iserman's case one type of thing. So Grant Fear, short print. Yep. For the Oilers. Brad Richards on the uh, Decagons for the Lightning. Yeah, lots of Lightning hits. It's too bad that in four boxes we doubled up on Brad Richards, but I thought we pulled him. Uh, Guy Lafleur. This is, I believe. Oh yeah, it's a specific All Star game. I believe that this is the. Uh, this is a nineteen ninety one NHL All Star game. I believe that this is going to be Colorado, because that's what it was the last time we looked it up. Yeah, it was Quebec Nordiques, so Colorado on the thing. Again, this one has the specific All-Star Game logo, so we're able to look up what team he represented at that All-Star Game. And when you go over to uh, here, you can see it is the Quebec Nordiques, which is a Colorado Avalanche. Again, same logo. Nice canvas. 
we've hit a couple like nice base canvases, but again, we like the Glen Hall's a nice auto. I really like that auto. They're tough to get, but we need something big. Hall for the blues. Like, it's been quiet. It's been really quiet. The canvas. Iserman. Well, that's pretty cool. Ray Ferraro on the canvas legend signatures for the Islanders. I'm okay with that. That's pretty cool. This was a much like this box appealed to me a lot more. <laughs> Ferraro and Campbell autos, you could do a lot worse than those. Especially like that's a really, really nice autograph. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stand that one. It's still kind of rough, but you know what? I I I like that. Super nice guy. So hopefully the last box is good. Like it's been kind of not great. It's been quiet. See, he he seems. I think it's just a part of like his personality, but like any interaction that I know people who have had with him have generally said like had nothing but like super positive things. So, and like even like, I got to talk to him a couple of times, but nothing, nothing major while they were doing commentary on the NHL games and so. Schultz for the wild. Wild hit. Those are pretty rare. But yeah. Evolve of Dion. Red Wings. Kings and Rangers. We need a big auto though. We need... The biggest auto you can think of. Ray Bork. Michael Hanzus uh, on the Decagons for the 2000s. I have a working theory with SP Signature is that you don't want a plain Decagons insert. It feels like those boxes have been the worst. Sorry, one second. There we go. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't count as a. I don't think it counts as a hit. I think it counts as sacking for the abs on the canvas. That's at least cool. Like we've hit some cool looking canvases. So I should start putting. I should put those to the side the whole time. Um. It's. It just seems like they're normally decagons are normally with the. Uh, they're normally with the shorter print profiles, so like tier two or tier four from ex from just observations. Trotty on the the dominant digits, so like you know you'll probably we'll probably see a profiles of like Lemieux, Lidstrom, Sam. Let me pop into team view here. Yeah, you normally get one of like. The second tier players, Lidstrom. And Mike Medano, this one is Dallas. I It lists a specific All-Star game, but I know that All-Star game is Dallas. That's the one where Heatley scored like five goals. And the Heatley hype was crazy. So. Uh, Pierre Bouchard for the Habs. All-time great name and Dick Duff. Frederick. Or Lawson. Grant Fear, random between Edmonton, Buffalo, and St. Louis. Again, we'll do the top, top, middle, bottom. 
makes a lot more sense than one, two, and three. I realized that during the break, just like, why didn't I just do like, uh, this Patrick Watt is not a short print. Why didn't I just do top, middle, bottom? Cause it's the exact same thing. And it makes a lot more sense than having to explain what one, two, and three stand for. But Excel are like our base canvases have been a lot better for the flyers, but this is probably going to be a profile. Probably gonna be a profiles. It's probably gonna be like the tier three. Oh, uh, LaFontaine on the short print for the Sabres and Lemieux for the Penguins. Yeah. It's Lemieux tier two, I think. Yeah, I think Lemieux is a tier two. So it feels like it feels like the Decagons are with the like shorter print profiles, whereas like the other inserts are with. The rare stuff. Uh, Paul Coffey on the dominant digits for the Oilers. Yeah, it's been like, it's been a different break because some of the less dominant teams. All right, we have a Decagon's auto. Let's save that till the end. A Decagon's auto can go one of two ways. Uh, Borea Salmin on the short print gold. Or not short print gold, sorry, the regular gold. Oh yeah, the canvas cards are really cool. Uh, Chris Nylon. Uh, so again, no team listed. Ha it should be Habs, right? Like almost, if my memory is correct, it should be Habs, but I just double check to make sure. Sanity check. 523 games because I knew we had a couple other stints with other teams, but I always like doing the pull up hockey reference because it gives me an excuse to look at their stats. Like, for example, how he had 358 penalty minutes in a single season. That is kind of wild. Rodero on the short prints and Yager for the Panthers. The Florida teams are doing okay in this break. He averaged like a fight a game essentially in his career. There's a penalty minutes. Rod the Bod Brindamore on the canvas. Again, our canvases have been like really solid. Uh Danico for the Devils. Alright, this should be an auto. This is probably gonna be a base auto if I had to guess. If it's an all-time future watch, we save it for the end. It is a base auto, so we do it now. Bobby Hall for Carolina. Uh, Hogobom for the Red Wings. I feel like we pulled them in the first one. Also, I'm pretty sure I saw like a Facebook marketplace listing by him the other day. <laughs> and at least it's the exact same name because we moved out a couch and someone came and picked it up and so i was looking it's just like looking through stuff on there all right it goes this way so al mckinnis on the short print donald all that for the buffalo sabers on the decagons well left a lot to be desired um not the not the not the best four boxes that we've seen for sure. So, um, yeah, like it's one of those ones. Just like I wish that there's like I don't know. It just felt it felt like the hall's nice, but like, yeah. All right, we got the top and bottom randoms to do here. Again, I think I think you want to avoid the deck the decagons. If you get a box with the plain decagons. It feels like it's not a good box. So we got the top bottoms here. So here we go. Oh yeah, there's there's absolutely like, there's no, like the clear cut hits, the top hit is the Glen Hall. And like in our other breaks, that wouldn't have been the top hit. And the fact that it's like the clear cut one is a little bit, you know, not the best. Not the best, I would say, so. 
top, middle, bottom. Well, we'll run it back next week because, I mean, hopefully it's better next week. I don't think you can get much worse than that, unfortunately. So here we go. Three times, top, middle, bottom, and then we'll go through them all. Once, twice, third time. Did it really just stay the same the whole time? Middle. I think it just stayed middle, top, bottom on all three. So Brett Hall goes to the Blues. Sammy Salo goes to the Canucks. That's rightful. LaFontaine to the Sabres. How many of these are going to go to the, the rightful teams, I would say? That one's correct. Hasek to the Sabres, also correct. Howard Chuck to the Sabres. You could argue that's correct. Hickey probably should have gone to the Rangers, but it's to the Leafs. Robotai. Yeah, Dion to the Kings, Robitaille to the Red Wings, Dion to the Kings, and Grant Fear to the Sabres. So it feels like that middle team is like the the technically correct team. You know what I mean? For the most part, there's a couple of them that are off. But all right, um, recap time because that was a uh, a different break. Uh, some of our better hits. We have the Lafleur canvas for um, Colorado, the Gretzky canvas for the Oilers. We get four Decagons, two of them being Brad Richards. They're all 2000s too, Zubris and Hanzus. Like we couldn't get a different decade, but no, that's just how it works out sometimes. Uh, some of our autographs, we got the Audette on the uh, Decagons. So uh, Hogaboom, one of our better autos, unfortunately, is the Brian Campbell, uh, the Rigel Ritzelainen. I mean, nice canvas auto. Mikhail Anderson for the Bolts and Rick Chartraw for the Habs. Uh, Second best hit, like it, like I'd say clear second best hit in the Ray Ferraro canvas auto. And then like clear top hit is the Glen Hall Century Legend signature. So these are pretty tough pulls, like cool card, but nothing, nothing compared to our first two breaks. That's for sure. We hit no clear cut future watches. We hit no, um, no super big autos. So, all right, that's it for group break number 360. Again, there's spots left in 361. I'll see how many are left after this. But if you're watching on YouTube, and there might be a link below, so uh, if there's still spots left.